Allah will not forgive the one who associates partners with him. And obviously this is speaking about a person who dies in that condition without repentance. But Allah says he may forgive whomsoever he wishes besides that in whatever way he wishes. So it is important for us to make sure that we abstain from any form of association of partnership with the Almighty for us to have some sort of hope on the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us paradise through his mercy. And may the Almighty forgive our shortcomings. May he really make us not only from those who are conscious of him, but from those who are conscious of the plot of the devil at all times. Like a person moving with an expensive stone or an expensive diamond or piece of jewelry or a lot of gold. How would they look around them to ensure that no one has an evil eye intending to usurp that wealth of theirs or that valuable item of theirs. They would look to their left and to their right. Sometimes even innocent people, we will be cautious of them in order for us not to fall prey to someone usurping something wealthy or expensive that we have. And for this reason, it's important for us to know that the religion that we have and the fact that we are worshipping Allah alone, that is indeed much more valuable than anything we can put value to. So brothers and sisters, the Almighty is telling us, if you would like to do a deed and in it, you are doing it for me and for someone else at the same time, I withdraw and I would leave it for that particular person. And this is why on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and on that day they will be called, where are those whom you associated as partners with me? And the various verses make it clear that they will not be responded. And those who were associated as partners will actually disassociate themselves from the partnership that was engaged in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. Sometimes when a person engages in a good deed and in his heart, he would like to show off. He would like to show someone. It is known as a riya. This type of show actually negates the good deed and results in the dropping or eradication of the reward of that particular good deed because we are showing. It happens sometimes even in prayer where a person is rushing in prayer and when another one happens to pass them, they quickly make their prayer slightly slower or the posture slightly better. That is known as association of partnership with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes when a person is sick and ill, what happens is they visit the doctors. Alhamdulillah, that is important because Al-Akhdu Bil Asbab, to do whatever is beneficial for you in order to achieve what you would like to achieve is very important. But to feel that it is solely the doctor who is going to cure you and to remove Allah from the equation is association of partnership with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should know that we call out to the Almighty and ask the Almighty to grant the doctor the ability to do that which is correct so that we can be granted cure by the Almighty. It is a technicality which we need to understand and protect ourselves from misunderstanding. So brothers and sisters, the same applies to wealth and sustenance. If we are to achieve wealth and sustenance through the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is ingratitude which we will get to in a few moments. But if we are to sell our faith in order to achieve that which is material, perhaps we may be associating wealth as a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ta'isa abdu dirham, ta'isa abdu dinar, ta'isa wa takasa wa idha shika falan taqash. Amazingly, we talk of destruction for the one, the one who worships the dirham and the dinar, the one who worships gold and silver. They are definitely at great loss and they are definitely people who are at such a loss that even if they were pricked, they would not be able to help themselves remove that particular thorn. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. This is why we see sometimes people may be granted lots of wealth, but they still cannot help themselves in terms of health. Sometimes no matter how much wealth you have, it does not bring about sleep because the Almighty is the owner of the wealth and the sleep. Sometimes the Almighty wants to make it clear to us that he is the owner of health as well as wealth as well as sustenance in terms of blessing because some people's blessings are snatched away because of their evil deeds may the almighty grant us goodness
Another way of association of partnership with the Almighty is when a person becomes so secularly in their thinking that they remove the Almighty from the equation. What this means, Allah describes in the Quran. Have you seen the one who has considered his own brain or mind or intellect as a God besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So he worships his mind, his brain, his intellect and removes the Almighty from the equation. Allah says, such a person, Allah has sealed their eyes, their ears and their faculties and none can guide them besides the Almighty. So do you not take heed? May the Almighty grant us the ability to protect ourselves to the degree that every single point and every single movement of ours, we are worried, we are concerned. Is this an association of partnership with the Almighty?